As you can see from the initial pictures today, I pressure washed this thing, mainly the roof. I also went ahead and hit around the bogies and just to kind of clean that up a little bit. I had for fun wire wheeled, not wire wheel, but just wire brushed and painted that little section over there. It looks like it'll clean up rather nicely and just make this a little bit a little bit better, put some truck bed coating under there. And, and then the main thing was to kind of go up sort of and assess the roof. And I guess what we discovered is that, I mean, there had, there was some leaking inside, but it's coming. Oh. It's coming from this seam here, the seam that goes all the way down there. There's areas of it where water's getting in and then that's where the aluminum top that's riveted on here joins the fiberglass body. So we're gonna put some of the, the butyl tape over this and all these seams on here. I'm gonna remove the luggage rack. I'm gonna take off the AC units, all that. And everywhere there's a seam, I'll put the butyl tape. And then we will paint the whole thing with an elastomeric coating. Of course, we'll caulk around any of those. In fact, I'll probably put tape around those as well because nobody's getting up on this roof to look at it and I'll paint the rest of the thing, but I'd rather have a couple extra pieces of tape up here, uh, the good tape that is, rather than a leak. Well, there's a surprise for this morning. Uh, I've been told there's a GMC motorhome at a local junkyard. It's about 45 minutes from the house. I'm on my way there now to see if this thing is actually here because then I can get the little uh, brake hose brackets and we can see what else is on this thing. I hear it's pretty stripped, but uh, if nothing else is to get these brake hose brackets rather than making them, if it takes me two hours and 15 minutes to go get them and pick them up, it'd probably take me close to that to make a nice set and they still wouldn't be as good as the originals. So this is what you do when you have one of these things you go on potentially wild goose chases, but uh, let's see what we find. Here it is. It's got the uh, stuff I need on the brakes, the little brackets. And it's got some kind of cool seats in there, so we might have to be grabbing those. And you can see what else is going on in here. Looks like that's an access point for the tank. Got a, got a carburetor. Definitely be snagging that. So, yeah. All right, cool. Well, we will see what we got here and get to work. Okay, so we got two nice headlight bezels. I have them, but might have been repaired and are all crappy so that's kind of a miracle and of course we got these which are unobtainium so worth the trip 25 bucks for everything okay we're back before we get into the brakes let's do the fun stuff let's put these bezels on i got some stainless screws in here i'm not sure if they're 10s or 12s. Dump a couple out here. So there's a, a 10 and a 12. Let's put this in here. Hmm. I think it's the 10. Okay. Let's put this bezel on. Oh boy, that looks way better. Now, of course, when it's painting time, we'll take those back off, paint them, but. Ah, it's much better to look at like that. All right, so anyway, now the fun part's over. We're gonna go back to these brakes. So I ordered these brake lines and the parking brake cables, rather. The first thing I noticed is that the long one isn't long enough. And my guess is I'll probably have to make some kind of extension from here, um, but uh, 
you know what? We're gonna get these brakes together and worry about this later. And the first order of business here will be to get our newly gotten junkyard brackets. This piece, by the way, goes right there. That is just some tubing I had cut, so I'll replace that. So we got that proper too. And uh, let's put these brackets on because this going up and down would just eventually stress this and break that. So that was a lot of driving for these things, but man, I mean, it's gonna be much better to have the proper stuff on there. So that's what's happening. Ah, okay. So look at that. We've got our factory brackets on there. We got our factory spacer on there and a brand new brake line there. So our brake hose. Now we're, now we're cooking here. We're getting back together. Now we're gonna take this drum off and then we're gonna put that one back together. Looking at that one. All right, there's one brake drum with the new wheel cylinder, which is the most important thing, and we have shoes. This shoe here, if you'll notice, the lining is busted off the top here, so that was definitely not going to be good. So now we're going to go ahead and do that side, replace the wheel cylinder and new shoes, and then put the drums back on. Okay, so here's a problem I'm having. I ordered the long cable the long cable is not long enough because of the way this setup works this outer cable needs to be longer this one at some point had been replaced it's hanging up right there just a little bit but enough where it might not be releasing the parking brake um, we've also got this spot here which probably was gunked but I've squirted some lube in there so this moves I'm going to figure out if it's hanging up there and I may remove some sheathing behind it and in front of it so that it, it uh, the plastic sheathing that is because I think what's going on is it's plastic sheathing is bird anyway we'll see if I can get this to work but this is what I got to do so see what happens so when I pull it through this is a little area of the cable where the sheathing's not on it so if I can get the sheathing off here and off here, the only resistance will be putting it on, but technically going backwards should not resist. And we just gotta get that smooth because, you know, it doesn't take a lot just to hang up and that parking brake's dragging. So I'm gonna try and just melt it off with a lighter, see how that works and experiment. Maybe I can even maybe make that smoother. We'll see what happens. Okay. So I'm gonna show you why I'm going with stock style exact replacement airbags because we don't have a lot of time to get this thing ready. We got like a month. So I'm gonna show you how quick this is. All I've done is I've, the only thing I've done is I've removed this one fitting from here. So I'm gonna take this out here. And we're gonna take this and make some a little bit of noise. that side off there. Let's wash it out of here. Take this side off here. Look at that. That's out. Now this is real time. Imagine you've blown an airbag and you're on the side of the road and it's really cold. Now, of course, this doesn't include getting the tires off, I guess, so technically that could be... shove this over to that side. Alright, that's in there. And now we've got our washer here. Here's our bolt. Okay. 
and then I will take my fitting, put new Teflon tape and screw it in there and put the end on and that is done. There's your brand new airbag. Well, I got those brakes there working and the parking brake works. And these two brakes here work and the parking brake works. Of course, we have new airbags on each side. That front caliper is good. But the only thing slowing me down now is this caliper, which is frozen. So I'm just going to go get a new caliper and put that on there. In fact, I'll probably just buy both front calipers. Now I'm going to have fun with some die core seal tape. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to, I'll show you what I'm going to do when I get up there. So that, as you can see, it's got a gap in there, and that's where water gets in. That whole rail, all the way down there, the top of it, you can caulk it. But ultimately, the caulk comes loose, the water gets in there, and that's where there's a seam, and you get leaks. So we're gonna take this orange dye core tape. This has been all pressure washed and cleaned, and we're just gonna stick this on and run right down into that channel, and call it a day. Some people will say, oh, that's terrible. It's gonna look like a mess, but if I do, I need enough job. It won't look like a mess, and more importantly, it won't leak, and this is what the goal is. Uh, not a lot of people are gonna be up here looking at this roof, so let's see how that works. So that's what that looks like. The screw things here, well, the screw things, the screws. I guess we're just gonna have a little bubble. I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna leak above that, and maybe there's something I can do with that, or maybe I won't worry about it. I'm gonna paint this whole top with the uh, elastomeric paint, and I'm gonna make uh, flashing for that with die core. I've got big 12 inch stuff, I'll clean all that stuff up. And maybe <clears throat> I'll get those screws out and put a screw that is more flush in there, or again, something with a round head. But I think that's going to seal that up pretty nice. So I guess we'll see next time it rains. I didn't do the other side. It's getting late. I'm all done. So I think that'll be the end of this episode. And the next one, hopefully we'll have that front caliper on and be driving this thing. Uh, until then, see you later.